The idea behind the Industrial Revolution was for machines to do more work so we could do less. Okay, so it didn't exactly work out. But then along came the computer age. And the promise of combining the strength, stamina, and precision of a machine with the brains of a microprocessor. It would be called a robot, and eventually it would liberate us from much of the drudgery which we call work. Well, here we are. The 21st century is fast approaching, and you still wouldn't trust a robot to move your furniture, much less diaper your baby or mix a decent martini. Well, Caroline has found out that when it comes to robots, things are looking up. Thanks, guys. No, they're not removalists. They're actually scientists who are developing a software package that will allow robots to perform the kind of complex teamwork that it took to get this couch here. Now, that may look easy, but to reproduce it is actually a very tricky problem because teamwork involves some level of communication between the parties involved. And to achieve this with robots is not only costly, but it's also often very inefficient because if you want to add robots to the team, the exchange of information between them becomes much more complicated and it slows the whole process down. So the researchers at Cornell University have found a way of streamlining this whole task. Meet Lily and Tommy. Now they may be a couple who are not on speaking terms, but they still make quite a team. These two represent a major advance in robot technology. Not only is their software and modular design a major breakthrough, but their doting creators say this duo does what no other robots and precious few humans can, they cooperate. Interaction like this may well be the next major step towards a truly useful helper around the home or office, so long as you don't feel like having a chat afterwards. I have finished rotating the lounge. Parallel computer programs give each robot an idea of what the other is going to do. They're also encrusted with sensors to gather information, not from each other, but from the object being manipulated. Press the lounge. Add the ability to accept voice or thought commands, and creations like Lily and Tommy could take over your life. You can imagine saying, well, I wish my desk was over there, and having the robots, you know, move it over while you're at lunch break. You can imagine having teams of robots cleaning up the lab. Add a healthy slice of computer-style group interaction to mechanise marvels like Lily and Tommy, and the feasibility of usable teams of robots becomes more than just an idea. If you think of the team approach, it naturally leads you to apply tools from computer science. So, for example, computer science has talked a lot about how we can take serial programs, so programs that run on a single machine and in a sequential fashion, take those kind of programs and autom automatically distribute them on a lot of cooperating computers and then try to somehow enable these, this parallel program to accomplish the task more effectively. Many of the techniques which have made computers cheap and user-friendly have also been applied to Lily and Tommy. Oh, no, I didn't put it Not only are their internal microprocessors easy to program, but their unique modular design means parts can be swapped between robots and faulty components can be dropped out and fixed on the workbench. I don't think...